There are many incredible juggling tricks that have been done throughout history, but some of them are more difficult than others. In this video, we'll go through the top 10 most difficult juggling tricks of all time. To start off, we need to find a way to measure difficulty as objectively as possible so that we can decide what trick is the most difficult to do. The way I'll measure is by asking this question. How long would it take for a non-juggler to accomplish a certain trick if his whole life the next couple of years would go towards doing that certain trick just once? And now, let's see who's at number 10. Number 10. 7 ring back crosses. Back crosses is a really common juggling trick. It consists of throwing the objects from behind the back over the opposite shoulder and catching it in front of the body. Juggling up to 5 balls or 5 clubs behind the back isn't that unusual to see anymore, but 5 rings is quite rarely done, not even to speak of 7 rings behind the back. And Pavel Evsukovic was the first person to do a flash consisting of 7 throws behind the back in 2012. Lado Dittmar was the second person in 2015, but this isn't number 10 on the list. On number 10 we find Delaney Baylis, who in 2020 not only does a flash, but actually twice that, getting a qualify of 14 catches. This is a huge improvement on a trick that very few jugglers in the world thought was runnable. And that's why this is number 10 on this list. Number 9. DB97531 First of all, what in the world is DB97531? The letters and numbers represent the height of the throw. A higher number equals a higher throw. Letters are thrown even higher than the numbers and the further back in the alphabet the letters are, the higher throw. In this trick, the first ball thrown is the last to be caught and the last ball thrown is the first to be caught. But now you might wonder. Why is this number 6 on this list when all of these jugglers have done it? This trick is on the list, but not for doing it once, but for doing a lot of them connected after one another. The first juggler to ever manage this trick was Ben Beaver. A couple of years later, in 2008, Daniel Eaker became the first person to ever do two rounds connected. This was seen as a really big accomplishment, but jugglers kept on pushing. In 2010, Laugu Benjaminson tied Daniel's record and a few months later, he became the first juggler to do three connected. And three years after that, in 2013, he connected four. At this point, it started to look like the trick could become a pattern instead of just a trick. But four rounds isn't even close to today's record. Because the juggler Ufek Schneer joined the battle. In January 2016, a clip of Ufek doing 11 dBs connected gets published. And in August later that year, Ufek publishes a massive 26 rounds. And even to this day, no one else have even managed to do more than 5 dBs connected on video. And looking at this massive gap in this quite mainstream trick goes to show how insane it is that someone could surpass the rest of the world by such a huge margin. That's why this is number 9 on this list. Number 8. 9 ball back crosses. When you get to the point that you can juggle 9 balls in the basic cascade for a certain duration of time, you are among the elites. This is also the case with juggling 7 balls back crosses. A small portion of jugglers have managed to juggle 7 ball back crosses for a flash of 7 catches. But an even smaller amount have been attempting to run the pattern. But Tai Tojo is at a different level when it comes to back crosses with balls. He can run 7 ball back crosses for an astounding 125 catches. But that isn't what puts him on this list. The trick that puts Tai Tojo on this list is him doing 9 ball back crosses. Just throwing a ball to the height needed for 9 when you make a throw from behind the back is hard enough in itself. 
and putting in the insane hand speed you need on top of that makes this insanely difficult. That's why 9 ball backcrosses is at number 8 on this list. Number 7. 7 clubs 7-up 7 360. The 7 club 7-up 7 360 is a trick that has been around since Anthony Gatto first showed it on video in 2005. And since then only Vova Golchenko and Spencer Androli have done it on video with a qualify after the 7-up, which is at least the double amount of catches as objects, and in this case it's 14 catches. And there are two big reasons why this trick is so impressive. The first one is that when juggling 7 clubs, just the base pattern itself is incredibly difficult. This results in that even if your flash when you throw all the 7 clubs up in the air before making the 360 is perfect, getting back into the pattern after the pirouette is what's truly difficult. The second is that this is a trick that a lot of jugglers dream of doing, even if that is getting the trick just once. So the percentage of 7 club jugglers that have tried the 7up is big. And still, there are only three people that have ever done it. And that's why this is number seven on this list. Number six, nine ring, nine up, 360. On number six, we have the nine up 360 with nine rings. This was accomplished by Daniel Lysenko in February, 2020. This is a super high and massive trick. Daniel juggles nine rings, throws all of them high up in the air, making the 360 and going back into the pattern. Daniel didn't do a qualify of 18 catches before and after the pirouette, but taking into account the leap in difficulty by adding two extra throws before the pirouette from the previous 7 of 360 by Gatto in 2000, this trick well deserves its rightful place as number 6 on this list. If you're still watching and liking what you see, please consider subscribing so that I can bring out more content. And now, on to the top 5. Number 5, 9 ball 7 up 360. When you get up to juggling 9 balls, getting any trick back into the pattern is considered extremely difficult. Minor changes in the pattern, like throwing one ball a bit higher and two balls a bit lower, increases the difficulty a lot. So seeing Ufik Schneid pulling off a 9 ball 7 of 360 with 20 catches before the pirouette and 18 catches after with a clean finish is extremely impressive. Every throw needs to be close to perfection. And that is the reason why this is number 5 on this list. Number 4. 7 ball 7-up seven 1080. The 7 ball 7-up seven 360 is one of the bigger tricks that jugglers do. That trick takes years of practice to get once and many more years to even get close to mastering it. But after many years of jugglers managing to do the 7-up 360, we ask the question. Is 7-up 7 720 possible? And yes, it was. In December 2010, the Danish juggler Lauge Benjaminsen became the first juggler to ever pull this trick off on camera. In March 2014, Håvard Witsen from Norway became the second juggler to ever pull this off. And two months later, in May, Ufek Schneid from Israel did the same. Only Ufek didn't stop there. He kept on pushing and in July 2016, Ufek became the first person to do a 7 ball 7-up seven 1080. But on 4th place, there's actually another trick as well. And that's the 7 ball 5-up 1440, also done by Ufek Schneer. I can't decide which of these tricks are more difficult and that's why they are both tied at 4th place. Number 3. 11 rings with ring balance. Balancing a ring is something that takes quite some time to master. Balancing a ring while juggling at the same time takes even longer. Juggling 11 rings is a big accomplishment, with only 16 jugglers officially 
who have ever done a flash of 11 throws on catches. And when you add a balance on top of that, you can see why this is amazing. Both extreme juggling and balancing skills combined. One factor that is important to remember is that the more objects you juggle, the more power is needed for each throw. And when you use a lot of power, your body will also move more, which makes the ring balance and also the trick as a whole even more difficult. And that's why this is number three on this list. Number two, seven club Alberts. Juggling three clubs in Alberts is an impressive trick to do. By jugglers who can do both three club Alberts and five club back crosses solid, it's usually agreed that three club Alberts is a bit easier to learn than five club back crosses. But three club back crosses is a lot easier to learn than three club Alberts. And by that, I mean a lot easier. But still, there are many jugglers that know how to juggle five club back crosses solid and not three clubs in Alberts. And taking into account the difficulty of five club back crosses and how many jugglers that have done seven club back crosses, which is only nine, you can just imagine how crazy it would be with Alberts. It sounds close to impossible, but Masahiro Takahashi wouldn't listen to this and just went for it. Seven throws in Alberts and even going back into the pattern. Out of all of the nine jugglers that have done seven club back crosses, only Anthony Gatto is ever known to go back into the pattern. And here, Takahashi does it with Alberts. This trick is completely insane and definitely deserves a high placement on this list. That's why seven club Alberts is number two on this list. Now you're probably wondering what will be number one. But before that, a couple of honorable mentions. Jack Danger. One high, six low, 720. Jonna Botnowick Greenhouse. Five up, 720 in singles. Ufek Schneid. Five ball, five up, 1800. Kaito. 7 club, 5 up, 720. Number 1. 11 rings with a ball bounce. This trick is just insane. For this trick, the same thing goes as with the ring balance. But this is even more impressive as a bounce is considered even harder than a balance. 11 rings flash with a bounce. Just amazing. Do you agree with this list? Please comment down below what you think is the hardest trick ever done. If you like this type of content, please subscribe as I now try to upload videos regularly. And thank you for watching.